Welcome to Selby's Maths Capsule. Here we are discussing about the multiple choice questions of group theory which appeared in previous Maharashtra set examination. The first question is let G be a group of order 29 then the options are G need not be abelian, G is a cyclic, G is abelian but not cyclic, G has at least one proper subgroup. Here the group has order 29 which is a prime number but any group of prime order is cyclic and any cyclic group is abelian. Therefore, option A and C are not correct, but the option B is correct. What about option D? If G has at least one proper subgroup, then the order of the subgroup is in between 1 and 29. According to Lagrange's theorem, the order of the subgroup divides 29. So therefore, the order of the subgroup is either 1 or 29 which is not possible, therefore the option D is not correct, so the correct option is B, that is G is cyclic. Which of the following integers has the property that every group having that order is a simple group? What do you mean by a simple group? A simple, a group G is said to be simple if the only normal subgroup of G are the trivial subgroup and G itself. That means G has no proper non-trivial normal subgroups. So when order of G is equal to 10, we can write 10 is equal to 2 into 5. And by third silo theorem, the number of silo 5 subgroup is 1 plus 5t, where t greater than or equal to 0 and it divides 2. This is possible only if t is equal to 0. In this case, the number of silo 5 subgroup is unique. But as a consequence of Silo theorem, the unique Silo subgroup is always normal. Therefore, the group of order 10 has a proper normal subgroup which is of order 5. That means that any group of order 10 is not simple. Therefore, A is not correct. The option A is not correct. By the same argument, we can show that a group of order 21 has a proper normal subgroup of order 7 which means that a group of order 21 is not simple, therefore the option C is not correct. Similarly, a group of order 6 is not simple, therefore D is also not correct. Now suppose G is a group of order 17 and 17 is a prime number, so any group of order 17 has no proper subgroups and hence it does not have a proper normal subgroup. Therefore, any group of order 17 is simple, Therefore, the correct option is B. The next question is, which of the following group is not a simple group? 7 is a prime, therefore Z7 is a simple group because it does not have any proper normal subgroup. Therefore, option A is not correct. Note that A is simple for any N greater than or equal to 5. Therefore, A5 and A100 are simple. Therefore, option B and C are also not correct. And A4 has a proper normal subgroup of order 4, namely the uh, identity, the uh, permutations 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 3, 2, 4 and 1, 4, 2, 3. So therefore, A4 is not simple. So the correct option is D. The next question is, let G be a non-abelian group with n elements. Then, which of the following values of n is possible? When n is equal to 13, and 13 is a prime number, and in, therefore any group of order 13 is cyclic, and which means that any group of order 13 is abelian. Therefore, the option A is not correct. When n is equal to 9, which is equal to 3 square, and we know that any group of order p square where p is prime is abelian, Therefore, any group of order 9 is abelian. Therefore, the option B is also not correct. Suppose n is equal to 15. But any group of order 15 is cyclic by the following result. So if the order of the group G is of the form PQ, where P is less than Q, or primes, and P does not divide Q minus 1, then G is cyclic. Here 15, you can write it as 3 into 5, and 3 does not divide 5 minus 1, which is equal to 4. Therefore, a group of order 15 is cyclic. 
and therefore any group of order 15 is abelian. Therefore, the option D is also not correct. Suppose n is equal to 10, which is equal to 2 into 5, which is of 2p form, where p is a prime. But any group of order 2p is isomorphic to either is a 2p or d2p. Since d2p is non-abelian, there is a possibility that a group of order 10 is non-abelian, which means that the option C is correct option. The next question is, for which of the following values of n is every group of order n abelian? The options are n is equal to 100, n is equal to 121, n is equal to 24, and n is equal to 120. Suppose n is equal to 100, which is an even number. Therefore, there are group of order 100, which is non-abelian. One of them is the dihedral group D100 of order 100. Therefore, the option A is not correct. Similarly, when n is equal to 24 or n is equal to 120, there are non-abelian groups. Therefore, option C and D are also not correct. When n is equal to 121, which is equal to 11 square, which is of the form P square, where P is prime, but any group of order P square is abelian, therefore, any group of order 121 is abelian, therefore, the correct option is B. The next question is, there is a non-abelian group of order which is options are 49, 41, 15 and 12. For any prime P, any group of order P square is abelian. Therefore, the group of order 49 is abelian. And any group of order P is a cyclic. And therefore, the, any group of order 41 is a cyclic and therefore it is abelian. Therefore, option A and B are not true. The previous problem, we have shown that any group of order 15 is a cyclic. And therefore, any group of order 15 is abelian. Therefore, option C is not correct. But there are non-abelian groups of order 12. One such a group is D12. Therefore, the option D is correct. The next question is, let G be a group of order 61. Then the number of subgroups of G is, the options are 61, 2, 7 and 1. Here the order of the group is 61, which is prime. And if H is a subgroup of G, then by Lagrange's theorem, order of H divides order of G, which is equal to 61. Therefore, order of H is equal to either 1 or 61. Therefore, there are only two possible numbers or subgroups of G. Therefore, the option B is correct. In the next session, we discuss more about multiple choice questions from group theory. Thank you. Thank you for learning with